Hi, and welcome to our video on intersections in residential areas. In this video, we'll discuss what an intersection is, different types of intersections found in residential areas, rules that are common to all intersections, and U-turns. An intersection is an area where two or more roadways meet. Therefore, there might be potential conflict between other road users such as vehicles and pedestrians. Because of that, intersections are high-risk areas for collisions and they are usually controlled by traffic signs, but not always. Intersection can come in different shapes, such as the common four-way intersection. Next, we have the T-intersections, also referred to as a three-way intersection. The Y-intersection, although rare, but becoming more popular in newer areas, the single lane roundabout. While they are all different, there are certain rules that are applicable to all intersections. First and foremost, drivers must always yield to those that are already inside the intersection, meaning that there is no such thing as having the ultimate right of way. To illustrate this, let's look in a situation where a red car is turning left and must yield to a pedestrian already inside the crosswalk. With the red car now blocking the intersection, the blue car must come to a complete stop in order to avoid a collision with the red car. Even if you have to right of way, you are responsible to do whatever you can to avoid a collision at all costs. The next thing we need to know about intersections is that all intersections are considered as crosswalks whether they are marked or unmarked. Because of this fact, all drivers must yield to pedestrians in crosswalks even though they haven't started crossing. If there is a pedestrian standing at the crosswalk and they appear that they want to cross, drivers must yield to the pedestrian. At intersections controlled by traffic signals, pedestrians must obey the traffic signal. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians even if they are turning right or left. If the pedestrian is on the other side of the roadway, the driver must stop before entering the intersecting roadway, taking care to not block the crosswalk. And if the pedestrian is on the side of the roadway closest to you, you must stop two to three car lengths away to avoid crowding the pedestrian. By not stopping too close to the pedestrians, you are allowing other vehicles to see the pedestrians before they get there, and you must remember that it is illegal to pass a car that is stopped at a crosswalk. And here is a great example as to why it is illegal to pass a vehicle that is stopped at a crosswalk. In this video, you can see that we're coming up to a marked crosswalk. And right in front of the vehicle that is stopped, we can see a pedestrian. If we were to continue without stopping, we might potentially hit the pedestrian that is about to go through the crosswalk. Even though not all crosswalks are marked, let's look at some signs and markings that indicate crosswalks when they are marked. For pavement markings, you can either have the piano slash keyboard style crosswalk or the corridor style crosswalk. Let's look at two different style of crosswalk signs. On the left, we have the regular crosswalk and on the right, the school crosswalk. Even though they are different, they both mean the same thing. We must yield to pedestrians at all times inside those crosswalks. Some crosswalk might be controlled by crosswalk lights, also known as signals. When the crosswalk lights are on, drivers must slow down to 30 km per hour and yield to any pedestrians inside the crosswalks. And even if it is obvious that the pedestrians are done crossing, drivers are not allowed to go any faster than 30 km per hour until they've either passed a crosswalk or the crosswalk lights are done flashing. Here is a good example as to why you are not allowed to pass a parked car at a crosswalk. Even though a family just went through the crosswalk, here's a kid that is running through the crosswalk to catch up. If a pedestrian wishes to cross the street and they are not at an intersection or at the marked crosswalk, then they are considered as jaywalkers. Drivers should avoid stopping for jaywalkers unless they are obviously started crossing the street. And the last thing we need to know about intersections is that left turning vehicles must always yield to oncoming traffic whether they are going straight or turning right. And here is a good to know thing. 
U-turns are allowed at any intersections unless prohibited otherwise by a sign or control by a traffic lights. True point turns in between intersections are not allowed. Remember, the methods in this video show the proper techniques for safe anywhere residential driving in Alberta and other Canadian jurisdictions. The added benefits of practicing these methods and turning them into your new habits is that you will be more likely to pass the residential portion of your road test. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please call us or text us at 587 990 or email us at office at archersbluecar.ca.